Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our third uh, Advent reading for this Christmas season. So the scripture today is going to come from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. So let's uh, re read the, the word of God. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give him you will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of the father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing, nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. See, it's amazing how this young woman, Mary, was fully obedient to God. Even when she didn't understand the implications of what was happening, she submitted herself to, to his commands. So we have to hold Mary up as a woman of strong faith, the same kind of faith that you and I should have today. Even when we don't understand, it's about having faith. See, Mary's faith is strong because she listens to what the Word of God says. Even when it's hard to understand, she keeps that faith. Faith and hope. That's what we have in this world. Because this world is crazy. It's chaotic. The world has been in a spiral ever since Adam and Eve. But together, you and I, with our faith in Him, we can survive anything that's thrown at us because we have God in our hearts. We have God in our minds. And with him, we have peace. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you know that at many times in our lives that we struggle. Sometimes when we struggle, we hold back our faith because we don't understand. Life is tough. But Lord, we know in this Advent season, this Christmas season, we know the reason for this season. And that is that babe that was born in a manger. Come to this earth to walk this earth with us, to feel our pain, to live among us, so that he could be one of us. And Lord, we thank you for that birth. We thank you for that Savior that came to dwell with us, but more importantly, came to dwell in us. So Lord, as we move forward in our lives, we just pray for your continued guidance, your love, your mercy, and your grace. And we just pray all this in the holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. So that's this third Advent reading. For this Advent season, for this Christmas season. So I hope you'll join me next Sunday for our fourth reading. So until then, y'all take care and God bless.